สวัสดีครับ Welcome to Phuket Extra brought to you by PVC Phuket. Visit them on Facebook. I'm JP m i s t a n t a It's Friday, April 23. We got a lot to get to, so let's get started. Cases in Thailand have surpassed 50,000 since the pandemic began. 2,070 cases were confirmed over the last 24 hours, and as of this broadcast, the new total for the nation is 50,183 cases since the pandemic began. 60% of total patients have recovered. 22 new COVID infections were found in Phuket on Thursday as cases on the island have reached 279 for this third wave as of this recording. The four COVID fatalities in Thailand include an 83-year-old Thai man with diabetes, a 29-year-old Thai woman who was obese, a 72-year-old man, and a 74-year-old Thai man with cardiac arrhythmia. In April alone, 21,302 COVID cases were reported while 27 people were confirmed infected upon death. Officials say that out of the 352 people around Thailand who are experiencing severe symptoms, 90 of which are critically ill, requiring a ventilator. This is what's prompting the public health ministry to increase the number of intensive care beds for COVID patients as ICUs fill up around the nation. Just this week, Phuket opened a second field hospital in the event of a rise of cases on the island. Bangkok officials say there are about 1,000 ICU beds nationwide and if infections rise by 1,500 a day, which is about the average of what we've been reporting this last week, they would all be occupied in 19 days. Meanwhile here in Phuket, a high-risk warning has been issued for all people who traveled in a passenger van from the Phuket International Airport to various locations on the island on April 15th. The passengers traveling in the van were dropped off at various locations. You can see that on your screen right now. And it comes as the PPHO continues to post timelines of movements of people now confirmed infected with COVID-19 on their Facebook page, a link for which is in the description. In addition, management at Central Phuket Shopping Mall has announced that their facility has undergone a deep cleanse this week after one infected person reported having visited the mall on April 10th. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. Phuket people entering p a n g n a province will now face mandatory 14-day quarantine unless they can prove they were vaccinated or prove they were tested negative for COVID-19 72 hours before arriving in the neighboring province. The order was revised yesterday by the p a n g n a governor and former Phuket governor c h a m r o e n t i p a y a p o n g d a t a Under the new order, p a n g n a is now using the same documentary requirements as Phuket to determine whether or not people from the 18 red zone provinces for COVID infections will be allowed to enter the province. Arrivals from red zone provinces must now prove that they are fully vaccinated or have tested negative for COVID-19 within 72 hours of arriving. People who have been released from a quarantine facility within three days of arriving are exempt from the quarantine measure. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. Phuket Extra, we are back after this. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. Russian President Vladimir Putin has personally vowed to support Thailand's COVID-19 battle and will be selling his country's Sputnik V vaccine, according to the Prime Minister of Thailand, Prayut Chan-o-cha. The Prime Minister revealed on his Facebook page that Putin had agreed to the Sputnik jabs available to Thailand by a government-to-government -government contract. All this came on the same day as it was announced that American pharmaceutical giant Pfizer had agreed to sell Thailand 10 million doses of its vaccine. Still, it's unclear when the deliveries would be made. Marine life experts are investigating what caused the death of a young striped dolphin found with heavy wounds to its body, which was lying on rocks at Trai Trang Beach, south of Batong, yesterday. The dolphin was found at about 1 p.m. yesterday as experts from the Phuket Marine Biological Center were called in to investigate. The dolphin was not fully grown, it was 1.3 meters long and weighed 30 kilos, found with several wounds along the right side of its body, its mouth, eye, fins, and more. An autopsy is now being done at the PMBC base in Cape Panwa. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. Thanks for watching Phuket Extra today and also for the rest of this week, which is brought to you by 
PVC Phuket. Visit them on Facebook. Join us again on Monday, where we'll catch you up with everything you missed over the weekend. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as $75,000 US dollars, and luxury properties can go all the way up to $20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks and mortar investment offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential. Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor to find your perfect Phuket property.